The bond between mother and daughter is probably the strongest there is. Only a mother can know how her daughter feels just by looking into her eyes. And likewise, only a daughter knows when her mother is wrong, even if she can't find the right way to tell her. Is there any way to confront those we love the most without hurting them? It is always difficult, very difficult. But what if we are convinced that this person is in grave danger? Would we keep quiet for fear of arguing? Would we let our mother, the most important person in our life, and the one who has given everything for us, suffer at the hands of others, just to avoid an argument or to hurt her by telling her the truth? The protagonist of our story already knew the answer to all these questions and did not hesitate for a second to act when everything went against her. Megan Roberts was 30 years old, a mother, had a good job and had been a widow for four years. Megan is one of the protagonists of our story, a woman who outwardly seems to lead an ideal, dreamy life, but inside she suffers daily the greatest sadness, the loss of her only and great love, since the unexpected death of her husband which left her devastated and alone to raise their only daughter together, Lily. When her father died, Lily was only seven years old, and although she suffered greatly for her loss, the girl was too young to understand the complexity of the matter and quickly managed to move forward thanks to the love and unconditional care of her mother. Megan didn't let her life go down the drain after her husband's death either. She had a job she was passionate about, and watching her daughter grow up was her greatest motivation. The only problem was that she refused to move on with her life, didn't want to meet anyone, and found the idea of falling in love again and sharing her life with another man inconceivable. Until suddenly, everything changed. Her life began to change one ordinary afternoon in late April as Megan waited for her daughter to come out of basketball practice at school. Megan had been waiting for about 20 minutes. Lily always came out of practice last, so she was used to having to wait for her. The afternoon was mild and Megan found it a shame to be inside the car, instead of waiting for her outside enjoying the last rays of sunshine of the day. She decided to get out of the car to stretch her legs and wait for her by the door. When she saw him, he was a handsome young man, probably a couple of years younger than she was. He was tall, with an athletic build and blue eyes. Megan thought she was having a vision. This man was so attractive that it seemed unreal to her to be looking at him outside her daughter's school. Then the man looked at her. It was only a few seconds of eye contact, but it was more than enough. She liked the man. Too much. Who was he? Where had he come from? Had I never seen him around the school? Was he a parent of a child who had just enrolled? Megan had so many questions and none of them made sense because it had only been seconds since she had seen the man. Yet she needed to answer them all. She wanted to know everything about him. She needed to. And apparently, he needed her too. Because what would happen just a few moments later, no one expected. Least of all, Megan. The mysterious man approached her with a friendly gesture and introduced himself. Immediately, she noticed his kind expression and the sparkle in his eyes. He was beautiful. His smile captivated her so much that, for a moment, the world seemed to stop. Megan smiled and extended her hand to greet him. A somewhat conventional greeting, but it seemed appropriate under the circumstances. She discreetly observed the man in front of her, taking in his handsome appearance, well-defined features, and captivating presence. Nice evening, don't you think? Nice to meet you, by the way. My name is Theo. I just moved to the neighborhood. I've only been living in the city for a week, and I was taking a walk to get to know the area better. The man introduced himself with a hint of amusement in his eyes, as if the situation was a bit amusing. I'm Megan. And yes, it's a beautiful day, she replied, suddenly feeling drawn to the stranger who had crossed her path. It was as if the universe had conspired to bring them face to face. The woman felt that all this was the fruit of her imagination, a transitory hallucination, 
the result of her loneliness and frustration. But it was not. This man was real. He was looking at her, and he seemed to be as interested in her as she was in him. Unfortunately, the bubble in which Megan found herself burst as soon as she saw her beautiful daughter approaching her on the run with a big smile on her face. When Lily caught up with them, Megan said a hurried goodbye. They got into the car and drove home. The next day, however, history repeated itself. And while Megan was waiting for Lily at school at the same time, Theo showed up again, and this time, she rushed to meet him and engage him in conversation. The conversation was just as pleasant and bubbly as the day before, with the only important difference being that this time, when Lily came out of training, Megan had already gotten the phone number of the attractive and mysterious Theo. And even better, they had a date. Megan's life took a radical change in just 48 hours, and it seemed that love was coming back into her life a change that would bring her a lot of happiness and would give her back the illusion of living. Or at least, that's what she thought. However, Megan could not imagine the dark secret hidden in that man she liked so much and with whom she would end up falling madly in love. Megan explained to her daughter what had happened and told her that she had a date with this man she had just seen with her. The little girl, pure of heart and wishing the woman happiness, rejoiced at the prospect of her mother finally having a companion. Lily often insisted that she look for a new partner, someone with whom she could share her life and perhaps give her a sister in the near future. However, her mother always answered her with evasions and changed the subject quickly to avoid talking about it. But now everything seemed different and Lily was very excited at the thought of her mother falling in love again and forging a relationship with a man other than her father. Too bad her mother chose the wrong person for it. The first date with Theo was a success. They seemed to be a perfect fit, but that was only the beginning. Days passed and the dates became a pleasant routine. Their passion for each other only grew and the woman could hardly believe how lucky she was to have met him. Soon, they decided to take the next step, and Theo accepted his girlfriend's invitation to have dinner at her house and meet Lily. The girl was thrilled with the idea of meeting the new man in her mother's life. However, all the excitement she felt about meeting this mysterious man disappeared after that dinner. Turning the happiness the girl felt for her mother into a deep concern, dinner with Theo was very pleasant. At least for Megan, it was. When Theo seemed even more charming at home, and the evening was filled with laughter, conversation, and good vibes. But that was just her opinion. Lily did not enjoy Theo's company at all and was wishing that the man would leave her house. Seeing that man and hearing him speak, Lily knew he was not someone to be trusted. She didn't know exactly what it was, but she knew that this man was not who he said he was and that something very bad was hidden inside him. There was only one problem. Her mother wasn't going to believe her. She was too enraptured by Theo and wouldn't be able to see him with the same eyes as she did. Still, she tried. Mommy, that man is not good for you. He's not a good person. I felt it. The woman was immediately shocked and confused. After all, she was deeply involved with the man and couldn't see how her little daughter didn't like him too. Why do you say that, honey? Theo is so kind. I'm sure you'll be very good friends. Give him a little time, okay? The mother said, trying to understand the girl's concerns and make her see that she was making a mistake. The mother did not know how to interpret her daughter's feelings and, although a sense of unease had set in, she was determined to give this new love a chance in the hope that her little girl would eventually accept it into their lives. And so, despite her daughter's initial misgivings, the woman continued to see Theo. Time passed and, with it, Theo's presence in her routine became more and more constant. He came to her house regularly and, little by little, began to act as if he belonged there. In the girl's eyes, he acted as if he wanted to own the house, but her mother didn't seem to notice. 
until one day, out of the blue, Theo came home saying that his marketing agency had unexpectedly gone bankrupt and that had left him penniless and homeless. Megan, of course, took pity on her crush and told him she would give him all the money he needed to get back on his feet and that he could stay and live with her. But the situation didn't stop there. Shortly after that, the man brought his sister Jasmine to the house, explaining that she desperately needed a job and a place to stay temporarily. Megan couldn't refuse to help her too and allowed her to stay and live with them, as well as promising her a job in her architectural firm. Lily, however, was becoming increasingly uncomfortable with the whole situation. She could not ignore the feeling that something was very wrong. The little girl tried to warn her mother several times. Mom, I think he's lying to you. I heard him talking to his sister, and you know what? I think Jasmine is not his sister. They were saying something about a plan and that they were about to get it. They are up to something bad. I can feel it. But her mother ignored her and continued to insist that she should accept her new family and be nicer to them. Megan believed that, in time, her daughter would get used to her partner and begin to like him. But fate had something different in store for her that would only make things worse, the worst news Lily could ever receive. Theo proposed to her mother, who, head over heels in love, enthusiastically accepted. As soon as Lily learned that her mother was engaged, she did everything she could to get her to break off the engagement. She pleaded, argued, and expressed her distrust of the man. However, her mother did not listen to her and went ahead with the wedding, very excited. Weeks passed, and finally the big day arrived. Megan and Theo's wedding was to be held in an idyllic, perfect location. It was a day of joy and celebration. Nothing could go wrong, or maybe it could. However, something had happened that made her very sad. Lily had made it clear that she would not attend the ceremony as she did not want to witness her mother marrying a man she did not trust. The woman was very upset, but with all the arrangements in place and after countless attempts to persuade her daughter, she had to go ahead with the wedding. The ceremony went smoothly until the moment of the vows. Everything seemed perfect. The bride and groom looked at each, Othar spellbound and smiling. But no one was prepared for what was about to happen. When the priest asked Megan if she accepted the man as her husband, the church door burst open and Lily ran in, screaming, Please, Mom, don't marry him! Shock and surprise were reflected on the faces of everyone present. The woman turned to her daughter, confused, and asked, Sweetheart, why are you doing this to me? Theo, at the altar, could not hide his anger and tried to throw Lily out of the church to prevent her from ruining everything. However, the girl was not intimidated. She stared at him and said, I know who you are. Now everyone will know the truth and my mother will know who the man she is about to marry is. In her hands, she had a cell phone turned on. She held it out to her mother, who took it without understanding what was going on. Look, Mom. Look who your fiancé really is. He lied to you. He's a con man. When the woman saw the image on the cell phone, she almost fainted. The photo showed Theo embracing Jasmine, his supposed sister, but who was actually his wife. Irrefutable proof of his betrayal. The man, stunned, shouted, That's ridiculous. You're trying to separate your mother and me with this Photoshop. Have you lost your mind? But the best was yet to come. Lily picked up her cell phone again and played an audio of Theo and Jasmine celebrating their sinister plans behind the church, a few minutes before the ceremony was to begin. Lily turned up the volume on the earpiece so that it would be heard loud and clear and everyone would be witnesses. We're so close. In a few hours we'll have made it, and I won't have to pretend anymore. I'm going to get everything out of that silly widow. She's got lots of money, and we're going to be rich, 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 my love," Theo said to Jasmine as they both laughed. The turn of events was stunning, and everyone was shocked by the bombshell revelation. 
It turned out that Theo and Jasmine were con artists that the police had been looking for months. Everything was planned to steal Megan's money, from the smallest detail. When the criminals were cornered and caught red-handed, they tried to run out the back door. But little did they know that Lily had already called the police, who were waiting outside to arrest them. Megan felt deeply ashamed that she had mistrusted her daughter and had been deceived in such a terrible way. After that, mother and daughter were closer than ever, and Megan was deeply grateful that her daughter had the courage to break up a marriage that could have been her undoing. You have saved me from a terrible future. You are an angel, my love. I will never doubt you again, she said as tears streamed down her face. You deserve the world, Mom. I'm sure someone perfect will come along for you. And the truth is that she did. Two years after Theo's cheating, Megan met another man who truly loved and respected her. A good man who Lily adored and who came to fill their lives with happiness. And if that wasn't enough, shortly after marrying her new husband, Megan became pregnant again, giving Lily her long-awaited baby sister. The pains of the past became distant memories in the face of the happiness and love that now filled the lives of that little family. Did you like this touching and surprising story? If so, we invite you to leave us a comment expressing your opinion. If you want to continue enjoying inspiring stories like this one, subscribe to our channel or check out the other videos shown at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for your cooperation.